it's Mika. So today is the day we've all been waiting for. The kitten gender reveal. Yes, I have the kittens in the tub next to me. We are going to finally reveal their genders. And we're gonna name them too because I was gonna make this two separate videos, but like, I just don't wanna wait any longer. I'm tired of calling them, you know, the gray one, the black one, the tortoiseshell, like, they need names, they need identities. Before we get started though, I do want to update you guys. I know in the last vlog, a couple of the kittens were sick, I had to take them to the vet, and I just wanna let you guys know that the kittens are completely better now. The one gray one that was sick never really worried me that much, but I still treated him with the drops every eight hours and had the humidifier on at all times. And obviously I did the same with the tortoiseshell. She was the one that worried me more. I was literally just sitting there preparing myself. Like I was saying like, okay, kitten deaths are common. This might happen. She might not make it. Even though the vet himself said that it wasn't that serious. Um, and that it happens a lot, so, but no. They're better now, so that's good. Actually, two of them did have a little weight issue, and it was surprisingly neither of the ones that were sick. I bottle fed them for a day, and they did not like it. So I started giving the mama, Ruth here, I started giving her a little bit of the kitten formula mixed in with her food, and she's, obsessed with it she loves it and it's actually really good for her milk production and milk quality so it's a win-win and it worked so all of the kittens are back on track everyone's happy and healthy and oh my gosh they have more energy than ever they are three weeks old and they're only going to be getting more and more energy as it goes but they are they are very up and about today. Luckily, they're all awake now, which is good because I don't like waking them up for stupid reasons. Now is a good time to check them out. Let's see who is who. First up, we have our firstborn. Since there are two gray ones, I go by the markings that's on their chest. This one has a little scar mark on his chest and the other one has a spot right under his neck. So I call this one little scar until he has a name. And I have a big hunch that this one is in fact going to be a boy because he is always weighing the most out of all of them. He's always tipping the scales. He's always ahead of everyone. It looks like I was right. We have a boy. Here we have our calico, which I'm pretty certain is a girl because only one in 3,000 calicos is a male. But Gary wants me to check anyhow. Also, they are a bit smaller than the others when I weigh them, so let's check it out. Yep, I was right. It looks like this one is a girl. You're so good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Those claws. Next up, we have our number three, the little derpy one. Honestly, I don't know what this one is. This one could go either way. They're kind of like in middle of the road when I weigh them. So, whoa, those claws. So let's see. Well, it looks like we have another boy. Okay, so both of the gray ones are boys. Cool. So we got two boys, one girl so far. Next up, we have the torty calico. Oh, what a freaking cutie you are. This is actually the runt of the litter. And since it's a tortoiseshell, I just have a very strong feeling that this is gonna be a girl. Yeah, but let's check to make sure. Yes, indeed, you're a girl. You're a little girl. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, you scared me last week. I was really worried for you, but you pulled through. You're strong. She's a fighter. Okay, last but most certainly not least, we have our little tuxedo kitty. This one actually is the firstborn's only competitor for weight. Sometimes this one is the heaviest. So I have a strong feeling that this is going to be a boy. And oh my gosh, look it, look at them. Such a sweetie. I seriously love black cats and tuxedo cats. I can't keep you though. I can't keep you, I'm sorry. And it looks like I was right. This is a boy, a little boy, a male Lena. It's a male Lena. Actually,
actually Lena was almost a boy. She's intersex, so <laughs> this is what Lena could have been. <laughs> oh, look at you curling up in my hands. Mm -hmm. You are the sweetest. You are just the sweetest. Okay, here you go, mamas. You can have your babies back. I'll stop taking them now. So, in conclusion, we have three boys, two girls. Ah, oh my gosh. That's awesome, actually. It's been a while since I've actually dealt with male cats. Uh, the past few fosters that I've had were female. Obviously, Lena's a female, so it's cool. We have, we have three boys now. Oh, the little calico's holding my hand. She got her paw on my hand right now, guys. Comment down below and tell me who your favorite is, because I... I honestly can't decide, which is probably a good thing because I can't keep them. <laughs> if I chose a favorite, that would be bad news for me because I'd fall in love. We are going to name them in this video too, but I need to sit and think about what I'm gonna name them. Me and Gary are picking out the names together and we already have a handful of names picked out for boy names and girl names. We just need to assign the names to the different ones now that we know, so yes. I am going to take the rest of the day to talk to him about it, to think about it, and I will come back to you guys tomorrow. So I will see you guys in a minute. Wow, it is the next day, I am back. Yes, I know, I completely different look. I cannot choose a style, okay? I have like 20 different aesthetics, don't judge me. But I am ready to reveal to you the final choices for the names. Let's go in order of their birth, as we did yesterday. So first up, we've got the firstborn. Are you the firstborn? Yes. We've got little Scar, that's not his name, but as you can see here, he has like a little scar mark on him. So we are doing Bible names for all of the kittens because the mother's name is Ruth. I did not give her that name. The organization or the shelter did. I don't, I don't know who gave her that name. But Ruth is the Bible name. So we're doing all Bible names to match. And this here is Genesis, the firstborn. For the gray cats, my second choices, since there were boys, were Cain and Abel, but I already named three of them and Gary wanted to name two of them so I just let him name the gray cats and he was really set on naming one Genesis. Of course Genesis has to be the firstborn, it wouldn't make sense any other way. Plus Genesis is just like a really strong booming name and this little guy here is the loudest. He is not using his full power right now but he can get very loud especially when I weigh him. He doesn't like being weighed. <laughs> Next up, we have our adorable, cute little calico girl. So, as we know, the mama's name is Ruth, and we all know that you cannot have Ruth without Naomi. So this is Naomi. I chose her to be Naomi. I knew I was gonna name one of the girls Naomi, but I chose her because she looks the most like Ruth. She is a calico with a lot of white on her, like Ruth. I could have chosen the Dilute Tortoiseshell because Ruth is a Dilute calico and this is a normal calico, but Gary thought that she looked more like her, so yes. This is Naomi. Next up, we've got the other gray one. Gary also named this one, and he chose the name Moses. Moses is just a really badass Bible character. You know, he's famous for parting the seas. Are you gonna do that? You gonna part the seas? Are you a badass? It's a cute name though for a cute boy. Next up, we have our little tortoiseshell calico. This little girl, she's a little bit of an emo one. We see her a lot spending time on her own doing her own thing, and we love that for her. But you know what's a Bible name and an emo song? Delilah! Hey there, Delilah, what's it like being a kitty? Sweet little Delilah, also the runt. We love her. Last but absolutely not least, we've got our black and white tuxedo boy. Oh, I love him so much. He's just chilling. You're just chilling, huh? Since he is black, I wanted to give him a badass, you know, metal goth name. And what better than a Bible villain? So here 
we have Judas, or known by his full name, Judas Iscariot, or known by what I used to refer to him as as a kid, Judas the Scariest. Are you scary? Are you the scariest? Say rar. <laughs> All right, guys. That was the gender reveal and the naming ceremony. What do you think? Who's your favorite? Leave it down in the comments below. What should we call this group? The Bible study? Church group? <laughs> I don't know. All right, that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day. Give your cat some extra love today. Bye-bye.